Hi everyone. Welcome back to the Nokia Connected Device Platform onboarding series. My name is Oliver and I'm a co-op developer here at Nokia working on the CDP platform. Today I'm going to show you how to connect the NXP Freedom K64F board to CDP. I'm going to show you how to compile the client code for this board, flash it to the board, and finally connect it with CDP. The first thing we need to do to onboard our NXP device is to navigate to the GitHub repository. Once we're here, scroll down to the bottom and then select the link for the embed compiler. This requires that you have a developer account with embed and if you don't already you can configure one for free. Once we're here, select the import button and then click this link to import from a URL. We're going to provide it with the URL of our GitHub repository so it can import our project. Next, all you have to do is just select import. I'm not going to do this because I already have it imported. Once you have it imported, go ahead and open up your project. In order to compile this for a specific board, we need to replace some libraries. For this project, there's three. We need to replace Ethernet interface, embed RTOS, and embed. To do so, simply right click and select delete. After you've deleted a library, press the import button and then click on the Libraries tab to search for the correct library. Then, just press Enter and then select the first link. Next, we need to configure our main. We need to tell the device to what server to hit and on what port to hit it and what we're going to call the device. So to do this, scroll down to these hash defines here, enter your server IP address here, and then enter your server's default port here. By default, LWM2M goes over port 5683, so I've entered it here. Lastly, you need to give the device a name. I just named mine Oliver NXP. Keep note of what you've named it, because we're going to need to use that later. The next thing we need to do is we need to configure our macros. To do so, click the drop-down button here, and then click Compile Macros. To compile for this board, we need to specify two. LWM2M client mode, simply telling it that we want to build a client, and LWM2M embedded mode. Since we're going to be using an embedded device. Then click OK and click compile. This might take a few minutes for the first compi compilation. Once the compilation is complete, it's going to download a bin file to your computer. Just save it, and we're going to use it later. Now, go ahead and plug in your embed device to your computer. Once it comes up, it should come up as a flash drive. All you need to do to flash our binary file is navigate to your downloads, select the file, copy it, and then paste it onto your embed device. This is going to flash it to your embed board. The last thing we need to do is we need to now configure CDP to tell it what device we're going to be hitting it with. So navigate to your CDP IP address and then authenticate with your credentials. Once you're in the console you're going to have to click on the Devices tab and then select Add Device. Right here, you're going to need to enter the device name that we just created. For example, mine was Oliver NXP. Then, scroll down and select Generic as the manufacturer. For the model, you need to select LWM2M Generic Device and then click Save. To see that our device was created successfully, just click the drop down and select search by device ID and then type in the device ID. Here you can see that we have my NXP device created. The last thing we need to do is we need to communicate with it with the CDP server. In order to do so, just connect the Ethernet jack to your embed device and then hit the reset button. 
This should go ahead and launch our newly flashed program. Give it about a minute to start communicating with the CDP server. All we need to do is navigate to the Devices tab, click View Device, and then search for our device like I've done here. Then just click on your device name and click the drop down for additional info. Thanks everyone for watching and please make sure to stay tuned for more demos and tutorials using the CDP platform.